will I forget you? All right. How can I forget you? Well, you are my son. And I and mommy brought you up. Maybe you settle down, then you have a family of your own. But you are still our son. You are still our son. It's forever and ever. Right? Uh. Yeah, I see scene one, take one. Hello. Okay. Can you give a short introduction about yourself? My name is Lim San Ho. My age, I am uh, 82. 82, yes. My name is Stephen Lau. I am 64. I was an accountancy honors graduate from University of Singapore. I got quite a lot of hobbies. From young, I used to rear fish. We used to stay in those pre-war house at Cantonment Road. So we were five or six guys, all breeding fighting fish. Oh, really? Uh. My hobby, I like to sing. I like to sing the song called Unchanged Melody. Oh, my love, my darling. Okay, thank you, thank you. I see very well. Thank you again. Thank you. Can you remember what you what you need to do every day? I would rather face the question, what do you do every day? Early morning, of course I have bread. Lah. I have bread, I have tea. I mean English tea with milk. Lah. Of course every night I'll see news. And take my advice, go and see news. Maybe you see your boyfriend with a girl on the TV walking along orchard. Road. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh. I made my own breakfast. Of course, this water once all, all prepared. My wife will steam the bread and I'll prepare myself. She wants to help me. I said, no, let me, let me do it myself. Unable and willing, I, I can't do it. Until the day when I, I cannot already. Ah, then is a day where she has to help me. But now I still can. So I'll do it. And if I keep on doing like this, uh, it will be better for me. Does my caregiver ever get upset with me? Ah, let me answer this question. Can I join you? Okay, can. Okay. Alright. Okay. Can. 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 Do you ever get upset with me? Mm. Yeah. Yes, uh, I do. Uh, sometimes. When we hear about uh, people telling us that dementia is just about forgive, forgetfulness, uh, it's a very simple understanding of dementia. Looking after him uh, with dementia is very different. Mommy, I have said something about you. No. She cannot remember, which is a good thing. She doesn't remember the negative things. Yeah. Things that I say when I'm angry or hurtful things, right, will be things like, so, 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 so,
Then I'll say that I'm correct. And then she will say that I'm correct because she cannot win that argument. I told my son, I said, at my age, I will surely make mistakes. I told him, before you lose your temper, you count the fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this itself is therapeutic. Then you see yeah. a temple uh, will come down. So trick 101, it's right? True. <laughs> it's true. We all can try. Last uh, Saturday, he was looking for his glasses and he couldn't find his glasses. And he, would, he asked me four times. I didn't hear him, so he gets very angry. And uh, he would actually uh, bang the door. Yep, and uh, very upset. Why is he so upset and making assertions of certain things that um, is not true? In the early days, I didn't know that he was already getting those signs. So uh, I remember there's one time she got lost, right, when we were preparing to go to our relatives wake. So I just want to set a fast dinner. So we are waiting for the three bowl of noodles and three soup to be delivered to the desk. So I asked her to hold on to the cutleries, utensils, like chopstick and spoon, sit down, wait for me. When we turned, she went missing. It was a bit crazy. So I immediately called call the police and I informed my, uh, my, my family relatives. So for dementia patient, right, in the police, uh, you can just call 999 immediately because no such thing as 24 hours rule. Yeah, for dementia patients, it's special. So we activate the whole kampong because there's a wake nearby, right? So the whole kampong come out with three cars and I don't know how many, how many people went all out to look for her in, together with the police. It's a beauty, beautiful scene because it shows that, uh, yeah, there's kinship. You know, my cousin actually found her in one of the park connector. She was still holding on to the chopstick and the spoon and then she's walking aimlessly. This when I am a bit more mature, right? So I comfort comfort her. Lah. Initially, initially, I do not want to associate myself with, with this this label, this 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 uh, condition. Because yeah, just not very I'm just embarrassed. Yeah, in a sense, not very proud of it. But over the course of time, I grew to accept it and I grew to I realized I need to step up, yeah, as a son. <laughs> yeah, and as a caregiver. Am I doing a good job in caring for you? Asking, I'm asking you. Not good enough. No, no but actually very, very good. I, I dare not to give marks, you see. If you ask me to give marks, I'm 98. La. I dare not give 100. <laughs> <laughs> My pocket, la. until she complained, I, ah, two more marks. <laughs> Stephen has a uh, uh, knee replacement on the left knee. And then uh, that was in 2018. It was very painful. Painful to the extent that, you know, sometimes he cannot control his pee. Then to the extent that he has to use the catheter. And he forgot to turn the tap and it actually wet the bed. And he was very upset that he wet the bed. Uh, so when he scolded us, I didn't take it in, uh, at heart because I know that he feel embarrassed. Yeah, why did he wet the bed? So I just tell him that it's okay. Yeah, we will just clean up. There's no, uh, there's no issue about cleaning up. So we make it, make it lighter instead of rubbing in and say that, oh, you know, why you do this? Why you cannot remember? So that actually lightened the atmosphere. And that is also something that I learned or I think other people should learn. Yeah? When, when situations get tense, don't make it tenser by blaming uh, the, other the other party. A lot of caregivers uh, feel that they know better, but we really don't. If he likes certain things done his way, let's do it his way. So he feels good about it, and I feel good about it. So, so this is the trick now, now he knows my trick. So, <laughs> so a, a visual menu, because okay, we realise this when we go to fancy restaurants, right? We ask for a, a photo menu of uh, how that plate of thing looks like, right? So I tried it at home. Uh, in saying that, look, let's let's put let's put chicken rice, let's put fish soup, let's put wonton mee, let's put uh, laksa, let's put mee pork, and all that stuff in a row. Uh. But the trick is, right, put the one that you think or you 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 want to suggest to him at the front. After everybody looks past the menu, right, the first thing they'll do, we ourselves do, we close the menu, 
And then we will say, I, actually, I don't know what I want. Then he say, yeah, maybe the first one is the one that you want. You, you tell him, perhaps this is the one that you want. Then he go, yeah, that's the one that I want. Oh, okay, you want. Let's go and buy that. It's really because when you empower him, you enable him as well. Because you enable him to be part of the conversation. So again, it's also about giving choice, but you, you, you shape it. Lah. I'm the one who, who manage things at home. I am a, a supervisor, <laughs> controlling freak. No, lah. Now that we employ a helper, right? her main role is to care for my mom. So her basic needs like um, <coughs> showering. So I think right now we are in a phase where we try to maintain all her functions. Whatever she can do currently, we will try to maintain it. If she can still use the toilet, we want to remind her to use the toilet. Anyway, she also takes dignity on the fact that she can use the toilet on her own. When she wake up, uh, use the toilet, then she will eat oats, then she will do some therapy. Uh, some daily exercises. She climbed nine stories every day. Yeah, together they help her. She's seldom sick physically, so she's always healthy. And then her blood pressure is also very good. Like 108, you know? Yeah, better than mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mentioned how many? Yeah. Yeah. Do you ma? Hmm. Good. I do you good. Why? 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 100% Will you ever forget me? This is a very difficult question for a person with dementia I mean, I'm frank Because I, dementia is only one way It can only get worse I told my wife If I cannot remember a name, just throw, throw, throw me in Kwantan Forest I only want my wife to remember me I don't want people Will I forget you? Or how can I forget you? Well, you are my son. And I and mommy brought you up. Maybe you settle down, then you have a family of your own. But you are still our son. You are still our son. It's forever and ever. Right? Uh -huh. You will forget me? No. Why? Why? Her mental capacity at this point of time, I think it's about two or three years old. They will not know that they are a parent. They will not know that they are an adult. They will not know that they will have kids. So I don't think she understands the concept of at this point of time. But definitely she knows that I'm somewhat close to her. Yeah. If he ever forget me, I think there will be one day. I really do not know how to respond when he said he cannot remember me. That is a fact. I heard friends telling me that already, where their spouse actually tell them, why are you in my bed? I think the day may come, I hope it doesn't, when I think about actually my own passing. Yeah, if I pass on earlier than him, actually I feel very fearful. Because I, I think that, I fear that no one looks after him. I will give her A star. But for me, maybe um, at best is C. Because of dementia, I cannot remember so many things. Like for example, children's birthdays, you say, A, you forgot his very birthday. This is something that is beyond me, it's not my fault. I always say it's not my fault, it's because my brain is not working. What do I do when she forget me? Uh? I think continue to show love, continue to show affection. I mean, that is true love, right? <laughs> Unconditional love. You need to show love where you don't expect anything in return. Like how she brought me up, like how she take care of us as, as a family, and how she take care of other people, of my neighbours, of her family members. You realise that overall, in the final analysis, right, my mom is a good person. I mean, I'm very proud to have her actually as my mum, yeah. Secretly, what I was trying to do is actually to, to keep our memories alive. I, I felt that in my secret uh, little uh, memory box, uh, I would start to collect pictures and, 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 uh, and videos of daddy. So, so I want to treasure, or when I grow old, these will be the memories that I will cherish like gold. The conversations are valuable. For me, so my fondest memory is having um, good conversations with my father. When we had an active Singapore-Malaysian league, I think that was, that was good times. 
the, the leg uh, they stamp on, on the floor, you know the floor, the uh, wooden, wooden steps and so on. Oh, so frightened. Kwa Kim Song, his name. Uh. His score uh, in Malaysia was very, at that time was very, very crucial. Right on it. Very mad, man. Whatever memories are created with her, prior to her condition, after her condition, and to the stage where she doesn't remember me, it's still meaningful. It still makes who she is and it still makes who I am. Maybe I have many uh, foster mom or um, a, a few nannies, yeah. But she's my one and only mom. My, my one, one and only mommy, yeah. She passed on and then my, 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 my children born. I will still tell her, tell my children about her. I have to explain who is my mother, how great a mother she is. Uh, life will still go on. I will still be who I am, but I'll be a different person, a changed person, a person with more experiences. Yeah. But I will not condone those memories. It's, it's helpful. It's precious. Yeah. What is lovable about me? <laughs> I take a lot of uh, moments that I treasure as my lovable moments for daddy. It's beyond the conversation. Sometimes there's act of love. That moments that I didn't even think that that's his love for us, but he showed it in a in a very unpretentious, very genuine way. Like I give you an example: when he mops the the floor in the toilet dry. What I love about that was that he said that I did, I want, I'm doing it because I don't want you and mommy to fall. Many a times we trivialize such stuff and saying, ah oh, yeah, okay lah, thank you and all that. But this kind of acts of love are what makes me uh, love him even more. I think your kind of love is that you're very sincere and ready. You're always doing things for others. Can you sing a song? Sweet Mimi. Sweet Mimi. Sweet Mimi. Sweet Mimi. Yeah. You may think down. Mm. 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 Yay, yeah, very good. Good song, good song. I remember Daddy would hold my hand when I was a kid. Yeah, but in many, many, many years, I've never hold my dad's hand in adult life. Just to hold his hand and say, Papa, let's cross the road together because I'm scared to cross the road. Because I akin my road to be a path ahead. And I think the power, the power of touch transcends um, any spoken words. Uh, and I will continue holding his hand for as long as he wants to hold my hand. Uh, you can What made me so lovable? Huh? I got so much problem, health problem. It is not the external, but uh, in, in inner heart that he has. Yeah. So I was, yeah, I will see Stephen, um, someone that uh, we have come to this earth together, and uh, he has not left me alone. He has actually been behind me, and we together, yeah, brought our children up. He has been together with me and supporting me in many ways that I see that when I need help. So now is a time when he needs help. Yeah, I will be there with you forever. Thank you.